A knife heated to over a thousand degrees, slicing through everything from plastic hands to stuffed animals. Yeah, that's a real thing. Hello, I'm Kim Wilborn and welcome to Internews Online. So if you've been on YouTube recently, you've probably seen the words glowing, a thousand degree knife, screaming at you in all caps, and if that doesn't make you want to drop everything you're doing, then I don't know what will. Most of the videos come from a mysterious man known only as Mr. Gear. Mr. Gear's unconventional desires include slicing the fingers off of plastic hands, beheading adorable stuffed animals and destroying hundreds of dollars worth of technology. Precisely the quality of content that you'd be expecting from a video called Glowing a Thousand Degree Knife. While some call the series out as clickbait, I mean the knife only glows for like two seconds. Others express a deep sense of satisfaction from watching the glowing a thousand degree knife completely devastate everyday objects. Personally, I think the series is really touching, <laughs> deep down. But deep down, what Mr. Gear is really doing is satisfying the human quest for knowledge that has been embedded in our DNA. It's how we invented the will, discovered dinosaurs, and put a man on the moon. And now we don't have to live our lives not knowing what happens when you stick a thousand degree knife through a lollipop. What a time to be alive. And the most popular video on his channel with a whopping 67 million views, features the said famous knife versus a plastic Coke bottle. Now, without ever seeing this phenomenon, I'm going to guess that the bottle maybe melts. Let's see. truly unprecedented artistry. Hey, if it's stopping these viewers from acting on their urge to destroy things themselves, then who are we to judge? Can't consume enough memes these days? Then check out the EIV channel for even more internews and other pretty great shows. They're not internews, but they'll do. And follow us on Facebook for even more amazing content. Thanks for watching.